Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be going over my journey from 2716 to 3000 rating. I actually hit rank 10, if you guys didn't know. So I'm super ecstatic about that, and I just want to show you the team I used, which was Metacham, Dugong, and Munchlax. And I'm going to split this up into a few videos here and try to get that out as fast as possible. And here's going to be my first uh, few sets when I started after Master League around 2719, I believe. And uh, definitely hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can catch the videos before Great League ends and hopefully you can use this team to great success like I did. I gained 300 points in, uh, I think 308 points in three days. So definitely um, take a look at these games I'm playing, see the bad matchups, the good matchups, and hopefully this team can help you out if you have these Pokemon. All right, let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, so Basically, Munchlax is the safe swap if you hard lose the lead. If you're in a neutral matchup, you just stay in it. Uh, maybe you try to catch something, maybe you don't. And then if you're in a great matchup and they switch into something that Dugong counters, obviously you just switch in Dugong and then you go from there. Hopefully get an ice, uh, Icy Wind off on the next thing coming in for whichever Metacham or Munchlax can take on. So in this game, we start off against Azumarill, really bad matchup. I instant switch to Munchlax. They end up swapping into Skarmory, and basically what you do is just when you bring in Munchlax, you just lick down, throw the body slams if you can, um, if whichever one does more, I guess. If it's a Registeel or even a, a Mawile, you can throw the um, throw the Bulldoze for sure. But in most matchups, you're going to be throwing the body slam and then licking down. So like right here, if I were to shield this, I can win the switch. Uh, because they've taken too much damage from the body slams because they know they resist them but just over the t over the course of a match uh Skarmory is just going to be taken down t uh, too much by the lick damage and we actually end up getting a body slam off here on the Azumarill so any chip damage against Azumarill is great the only bad thing is that Azumarill is getting a lot of um energy but Dugong wins this matchup now I don't know if I counted six or seven so we're just hoping it's not play rough it is play rough and they're up two shields so this is not the greatest situation. I'm probably going to have to shield this one, and they're going to be up two shields to zero. And I don't throw right away because I'm, I'm pretty sure as soon as I throw this Icy Wind, they're going to try to swap out or get enough energy and then swap out later. Yeah, and they do swap out into this Haunter. I throw this Icy Wind, but this game's pretty much over. Haunter's just going to be doing too, way too much damage to uh, Medichim here, and I'm not going to be able to get to another Icy Wind. I think about Sack Swapping doesn't really matter though. Uh, just had a really bad lead and then didn't end up getting Munchlax onto a Haunter. But uh, if we had thrown in the Dugong, they would have brought Haunter in and that would have been an interesting matchup. But uh, I almost never bring in Dugong as a safe swap except against Sableye I started doing it um, because I think that you can save the Munchlax for Sableye later in the match if you can... Um, get Dugong out there. But Dugong also beats Stabilize, so yeah. Just some other stuff I've been trying out. And yeah, this game's super over. But I do, if you haven't noticed, I do use Psychic on the Metacham. Uh, so actually, Registeel matchup in particular is not as easy as you'd think. But a lot of, uh, well, we actually played against Registeel here, but a lot of people just switch out instantly and you can get an energy advantage on Metacham, which then gives you the matchup. In fact, I think if you if you have one counter, you can win the matchup with a uh, Ice Punch and uh, Psychic with all the counter damage as well. So a little unfortunate, this uh, Beedrill, we switch in way too late, and the Beedrill is able to get a lot of moves off here on the Dugong. Uh, this is definitely not going to KO, but it's going to do a pretty decent amount of damage, and I think that if we shield, we actually can farm down, which I am going to go for here. And then they're definitely going to bring back in the Reggie Steel. Uh, I might throw a Water Pulse at it. Sometimes I just want to do damage. Other times I'll try to get the uh, reduction. Looks like I'll go for the reduction. And I actually do think I get a Water Pulse off here um, in the end. The odds of them locking us down are pretty low. But the fact that we started getting so low, I was like, okay, I can just swap into my safe swap at this point. Munchlax can take a Focus Blast. Doesn't KO does about 70%, 65. And yeah, we're just going to be going for these bulldozes. They actually do swap out. This is really bad for me. I've now wasted basically almost two 
body slams worth of energy uh, on this Azumarill. But good thing for us is we still have um, Dugong alive in the back, so we can actually reduce this Azumarill's uh, uh, damage output. And it looks like they're actually going to go for the farm down. This is ambitious from our opponent. Uh, Munchlax is actually extremely bulky. And I do swap in and do get this uh, Icy Wind off. Our opponent... Uh, <laughs> I wonder if I'm going to bring in Munchlax or just take the... I, I think I'll probably bring in Metacham Shield. Oh, they actually brought back in this... Uh, it makes sense. Although we can take a Flash Cannon, what I think will probably happen here is I'll farm down. Oh no, we're going to go for this. See if we can't get a shield, right? But what we could have done is just taken it and farm down. Oh, and this is unfortunate because I did click the move. If I had actually farmed down here, it becomes CMP tie with the Azumarill when it comes back in. And I actually think I mess up in this. Oh no, this isn't the one. There is a match where I mess up. Forget how much energy I have on um, on Metacham and end up throwing an Ice Punch. But yeah, we, we did get that one, so... Pretty good. Psychic is actually the reason it's there is because it's really good against Azumarill. So another swap out here and it right into Altaria, which this is just great for Dugong. What I like to do here is go Icy Wind, um, and usually not fully charge. I think I go for a nice, which is maybe ten bubbles. Oh no, this is going to be a full farm down. Okay. Definitely coming back, Reggie Steel. I think I end up. This is the match. I'm pretty sure I go Icy Wind into Water Pulse. Water Pulse is actually going to do uh, a lot more damage, but um, it doesn't really matter in the end. I do think that this Reggie Steel is going to be able to farm us down, which is going to be really bad for us because Reggie Steel is actually, like I said, pretty good against um, Metacham. So. Oh, they end up swapping. I'm going to try to throw this Psychic. They usually don't shield on a zoom roll here, so I want to throw this and then give our Munchlax a really good matchup here in the back. And the defense actually fell as well. So this Munchlax is going to do so much damage. I don't have to shield the first one. Even if it's a Hydro Pump, it's only going to be about 55% 60. Yeah. And these Body Slams, I'm going a little bit over because I think that a Body Slam might be able to KO with the debuff. Uh, to the defense on, on a zoom roll and actually end up shielding. I'm going to get to this body slam. No, I was going to say probably before they do. And I let it go. That's interesting. I do have two shields, I guess, which is fine. You're going to have to, I'm going to have to shield this. And I know that the Reggie still is loaded. So after this flash cannon, it's going to be pretty close to another one, so I'm going to go for a double Ice Beam here and hope that I can farm down after if he shields, which he does. I don't think we're going to have enough health here. Oh, I think this is the game where I actually farm down. And then I'm, I actually have a Psychic here, and I end up throwing the Ice Punch because I didn't know that I had the Psychic. So definitely you are going to want to pay attention to exactly how much energy you have, because if I had thrown that Psychic, we actually win that set. All right. Shift Tree, this is a pretty interesting matchup. Your counters are doing a ton of damage, and the Ice Beam will obviously KO, but they get to two Leaf Blades, so I'm fine taking one here, and then I'm going to throw the Ice Beam to take a shield, but they actually end up swapping, so I do have the Psychic that I'm going to throw, and then throw, uh, go straight into Munchlax. So Munchlax is going to have a really bad matchup against Shift Tree. Well, it's not as bad as you would think. They do resist the Licks, but the Body Slams still are going to do about... 40%, I think, 40, 45, because Shift Tree is so squishy. And I think at this point, uh, probably can't farm down, but I think we can get a little bit more energy, especially since this is the Hydro Pump. Yeah, we're going to go, we're going to farm a little bit over. If they do end up shielding, I think we can shield and farm down. That'll be just fine. But we do have half a Body Slam here, and if we get to this Body Slam, we'll definitely force a shield. Um, I think one bad thing here, though, is we got a little too low from the Hydro Pump, and I think this Shift Tree is going to actually try to farm us all the way down. And I don't... We do make it to another Body Slam, and I think they're going to shield because they have just so much energy on this. Um, and I obviously can't bring in the Dugong, so I'm going to have to bring in the Medicham. But 
I don't know. I think I would shield once. Oh, I do end up bringing the Duke on. Probably because of health. Uh, we have a lot of health, right? So the first one go, I think he's going to get to two anyways. So I shield this one. And then we can obviously farm this down. And then let's see what he's got in the back. Alteria, so perfect. Icy Wind, and then just three more Ice Shards after this. Should probably KO it. One, two, three. Yep. Perfect. All right, next matchup. So yeah, I've really been liking this team. Obviously, I went up about 300 points during the uh, Great League swap. So like I said, a zoom roll in the front, we straight up switch to Munchlax. And these Bulldozer are actually super effective here against um, Galarian Stunfisk. And it does, Galarian Stunfisk is so tanky and Bulldoze isn't the best move, so that's fine. Um, you're not going to be able to get to two if they go Earthquake, Rock, rock Throw, Rock Slide, sorry, which they usually do, so this will probably be an Earthquake, right? Which is fine. Oh, this person actually went Triple Rock Slide, I do remember that. And I'm pressing the Body Slam. I don't think they'll shield it, and this will definitely be resisted, so it's definitely not going to KO. So close, though, and I have to think now, do I want to shield to win this matchup? Mm. Yes, I do. All right, and then we look down, we have a Body Slam for whatever's coming in next. It's probably going to be the Azumarill, right? Azumarill's going to probably be able to farm down this uh, and get five or six Water Guns worth of energy, or Bubbles worth of energy. But the lick damage is going to add up, and I do think we make it to the second body slam. Now, most of Zoom rolls don't shield any of these body slams because it doesn't do too much damage, but the damage builds up over time, right? Look how much damage that 10% uh, Munchlax was able to do to a Zoom roll because they got super greedy. Now, I'm going to let this first one come through because I don't know if they're running play rough or not. They are running play rough, so if they throw again, I might shield, except that we also get a, a debuff here, so maybe I just let it go if they throw again. Probably, because I'm going to want this shield. Oh, so I'm thinking that it's not Registeel in the back, and it's Sableye. This doesn't look fantastic. And this Foul Play probably doesn't KO, but it probably leaves us about 2% HP. Yeah, so this is obviously not good. Uh, the Shadow Damage is going to be super effective against the Metacham. Even though it's reduced, it's still going to be two Foul Plays here. I think we're going to get taken out. I'm pretty sure... Uh, we might make it to... Oh, they let it go through. That's interesting. I wonder if they have Shadow Sneak. So a lot of Sableyes have Power Gym, I've noticed. Yeah, and this guy went Foul Play. Now, a second Foul Play will KO us because of the, um, because of the Shadow Claw damage. Now, you notice right there I had an Ice Punch, but I didn't throw it because he still has a shield at this point. I would have needed to farm down on, Azu or on, a, on that Sableye there and hope that I had enough energy for two Ice Beams to um to ko the azumarill all right so that was the first set of five there um looks like i didn't clip it all and it was a two three so not the greatest start but i do think the second set here i believe this is a 5-0 now we did play this player actually a lot but their team seemed to change a lot as well seemingly daily um so this matchup's okay uh, Umbreon's neutral and taking super effective damage from these counters. The thing is, these Dark Pulses are really adding up, and since we don't have a fighting move, I go all the way up to the Dynamic Punch to try to bait. Uh, I don't think he falls for it, and these Ice Beams are doing almost nothing. I think that I probably will shield this to preserve Metacham a little bit. Yeah, I don't want to lose this Metacham um, to, all, to this damage. I may need it for later if there's a Steel-type in the back. Um, and I think from here I can actually just farm all the way down since he's using Dark Pulse and not Foul Play. So it's a little more energy for Dark Pulse. And it adds up over time. Usually you don't notice it uh, with Foul Play because it's only 5 energy more, I believe. But after a few, you'll end up um, having to do one more Snarl, which is what happened there. So it comes in with Defense Deoxys. This is a little rough for us, but um, Munchlax is actually allowed to do that much damage to it. And since we have uh, so much energy... We're able to come in with this bulldoze. Now, if he doesn't shield this bulldoze, he's going to do about 40%. Now we're going to lick all the way down. Uh, we actually don't get KO'd by a rock slide here, so unless this is Earthquake, we're going to survive and probably be able to get to this 
uh, to this body slam, which is actually going to put some shield pressure on our opponents since they have a Half-Life DD in the back and an already KO'd Umbreon. So really good turn of events there. Um, since we were able to land the Bulldoze, we're causing so much shield pressure with the resisted body slam and also easier or quicker move to get to. This also has to be an Earthquake to KO us. If it's a Rock Slide, it will not. Now he'll have to throw another one if he wants to take us out here, and we're fine with that. I don't actually think this KOs anyways. I'm going to come in with um, Dugong because I know that this matchup's going to happen right here. Um, Dugong's actually going to be taking super effective damage from the counters, the Rock Slides, and the Thunderbolts. This is why it's so important that we need to get this uh, Icy Wind off. Because if we get hit by a Rock Slide now, it's not going to be too bad. And he should get to one. I think we were half turn ahead here. And this Icy Wind's definitely going to KO this Deoxys. Now, I don't know how much energy this Stun Fisk has. If it is a Rock Slide, yeah. If it does get to a Rock Slide, it's going to KO us. But I think it's only one or two counters away from getting taken out by the Medicham. One counter. We'll take those. One, one HP in a dream, I think the saying is. All right, Lapras matchup. Now, we don't see this too much. The only thing that's a little weird here is that we don't have any charge moves that are fighting type. So just like the Registeel matchup, it's a little awkward, but it's okay. Um, the counter damage, this is obviously a little, a little easier, but he actually does come in with the Whizcash. I'm going to throw this Ice Punch and then switch straight up into Dugong. Dugong hard counters Whizcash. So even though this Whizcash has an extreme amount of energy, the Dugong's just going to come in and be able to take it out for sure. Um, I think he's actually able to get the two Mud Bombs here, which is probably going to take about half our HP because we CMP tie on this Icy Wind. Now, an Icy Wind at full strength isn't going to KO this Whizcash right here, so I'm going to bring it... I'm going to do... If it was a little lower... I would definitely undercharge so that I can get a little bit of farm going into that next matchup, which is going to probably be the Lapras. But this farm down right here is going to be great for us. Unfortunately, they get a Mud Bomb off here right before we were able to KO with one more Ice Shard. But uh, it's okay. We do have a ton of farm here. They're going to come in with Lapras. Um, we are pretty low, but it's going to be a hard task for this Lapras to Ice Shard down since we double resist Ice Shard and now it's reduced by one stage, now two stages. Uh, but I believe that this Lapras does go for the full farm down, um, which is an interesting strategy because it ends up taking a ton of damage in the interim. So I'm not sure this was the greatest choice, but, um, you know, maybe it was okay. This Lapras is definitely at 100 energy uh, coming into the next matchup. A good swap here to uh, preserve that 100 energy on Lapras without losing any of it to the, um, the fact that it's being debuffed. And I think what we're going to do here is just go for a farm down on Machamp. We resist everything, but, you know, just going to double shield, farm down, throw, try to throw both these Ice Punches at this Lapras, and um, see if we can't get shield. We are very low, probably one Ice Shard away from getting KO'd. Uh, if you notice, though, an Ice Shard does not come in on uh, when he brings in the Lapras, so we actually are able to get both off. Um, in that situation, maybe it would have been better just to switch straight away to Muchlax. Um, that way the Metacham isn't KO'd and you still have the Ice Punch in the back just in case an Ice Shard somehow does get through. You guys know how it's, um, GBL is not 100% bug proof for sure. And, um, yeah, things like that can get weird where they somehow slip in a move between, uh, the charge moves. So he ends up getting the three Surfs off, but Munchlax is very tanky and, uh, yeah, survives, throws his Body Slam, and KO'd. Alright, next game here. Metacham into Shift Trees. So this matchup is, um, happens a few, it's happened quite a few times, actually, and the way I like to play it out is take this first Leaf Blade, throw the Ice Punch, and then switch out into... Oh, nope, they switched out. Actually, yeah, I, I, no, 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 I end up staying in the matchup most of the time, and then they switch out, and usually I'll switch into Munchlax because Munchlax isn't going to have the greatest time against Shift Tree. These Body Slams actually do about 40% to Shift Tree, so that's pretty nice, but the Lick Damage is resisted, so it's not really going to be doing anything. Plus, this matchup's actually pretty good for Munchlax. I think you can shield once and farm down from here. 
And that's just what we're going to do. Oh, they actually get to encounter uh, another rock slide. But this doesn't KO anyways. Um, it is going to put us a little low, especially with that last counter right there. I think that the ship tree is going to come in and try to farm us down. Uh, uh, it's not the greatest idea to farm down with Snarl, especially if it's not super effective. But um, they are going to go for it, for sure. But it allows us to get to a second body slam, which means we're probably going to take both shields if they actually want to keep this shift tree with... Um, Oh, they didn't keep the shift tree. That's interesting. So they come back in with Registeel. It is their last Pokemon. We have Metacham, and they end up forfeiting. Now, one interesting thing about the Metacham uh, Reggie matchup, which I think I mentioned earlier, is that Reggie actually wins the all shield scenarios if you don't have a, a fighting charge move, which is interesting. But most most Reggies don't uh, leave that matchup. So I mean, they they mostly leave that matchup. So you end up getting that one counter advantage. Now we end up going for Broke here and going for this Bulldoze, but it's only because I didn't really know the matchup. It seems like we actually could have just gone for Double Body Slam here and been okay, because um, look how low they're getting with these Licks. It is super effective damage against the Fairy Typing, I believe. Uh, and these body slam, this Body Slam actually ends up doing a ton, even though it's not very effective. I guess Shadow Mawile is just very squishy, and that's... Uh, really what happened there so we're definitely going to come in dugong versus hypno i'm just making sure that the um oh we actually come back in with minicham oh because they have the reggie steel right yeah, yeah yeah yeah. or did they i forget the starting matchup already but uh it must be a reggie steel no it doesn't make sense actually it must be something that was it must be a zoom roll okay we'll see <laughs> we'll see in a second i guess it's B drill. Okay, interesting. We're gonna go straight for the psychic. I'm gonna shield here. And now it was Felstinger, and that actually wouldn't KO, even though it's super effective. And the psychic, we're just hoping they don't shield because this can definitely KO. Uh, definitely an interesting choice to come in with Medicham there. I, I'm not sure I would do that every time. I definitely think I would come in with um, Dugong. I think what I must have been worried about is that they had an energy advantage and they can get to that Thunder Punch, but the thing is we had one shield and then we would have reduced the damage on the next one, so. Alright, Altaria, this is a tough matchup. Obviously this is bad, we're going to switch right away. Accidentally do a counter there, happens. But, um, these body slams do build up. I've noticed what Altaria's like to do is throw one sky attack and then jump out, or sometimes just take that uh, body slam and then jump out anyways. So I think that's what he's going to do, get an energy advantage, probably get to, yeah, get to the um, Sky Attack and then um, save that for the Metacham later. Alright, he brings in the Azumarill and it actually takes the Body Slam, so that's really good for us. Always is to chip damage against Azumarill is very good. Um, I think we're going to do this, we're going to end up getting KO'd by the Bubble, and then bring in Dugong. Oh, I guess I bring in Dugong anyways because they switched already, let's... Go, or they had a late switch, I should say. So let's go ahead and get a little bit of a start here. Um, I didn't know if they had play rough or not, so I decided to shield the first one since they had a ton of energy. They were actually very close to um, maximum energy, 100 energy there. So what I'm going to do here is probably not throw a move and then um, try to farm up a ton of energy here on Dugong. Let's see if that's what I decided to do. Yeah, because usually what they like to do is switch out of the Azumarill at some point. Uh, and he actually ends up throwing this is fine, even if it's Hydro Pump, it's not really going to do too much, it's already debuffed. And it was just an Ice Beam, and we have two Icy Winds here on Dugong, so let's go ahead and use them. And this is obviously a really good matchup, so I'm going to stay in here. Now, one thing we do have to note is that the Altaria is still in the back, probably does have a, uh, a Sky Attack. And you notice I'm not hitting all the bubbles, at first I thought maybe I shouldn't KO it, but then I thought better of it and like, you know what? Dugong's going to be doing everything here. Let's go ahead and preserve Dugong as much as possible. Uh, and what I'm going to do is farm down and then throw this Icy Wind on the last Pokemon. So one thing that I'm exempt, uh, that is showing here is that if they have one Pokemon left and they have a shield, but their Icy Wind, it's almost like that shield doesn't even matter because they're not going to be doing as much damage as they usually would do anyways. And now they're less than a normal Pokemon at this point and anything could be this. So let's see how much a Mud Bomb does here. Or is this a Blizzard? Yeah, so the Mud Bomb does almost nothing because of the reduction. And then I think, uh, I could just farm it down, and they end up leaving anyways, because they saw the writing on the wall as well. 
And uh, yeah, that was a 5-0 there. Uh, we followed up with a 5-0 starting with that 2-3. Now what I'm gonna be doing for um, the rest of these videos, I, I, did, I thought about making one gigantic video, like an hour and a half, and then I was like, that's probably not the best idea. Actually, I have so much, so many replays. I just wanna show you all as many matchups as I can, especially on that road to uh, rank 10. So what I'm gonna be doing is just split this into like three or four videos and then sort of remove all of the extra games. You know, I have, like I said, hours upon hours of replays, but I'm not gonna, unless y'all wanna see a lot of, I, I don't know, I guess let me know if you wanna see a longer video with uh, more games or like this, the two sets. I think two sets is kind of what y'all have been saying you wanna see, um, 10 games. So let's go ahead and keep it at that unless you tell me differently. And if you haven't, definitely subscribe to the channel and like in, and comment. It definitely lets me know uh, that y'all are interested in these videos. Thanks for watching.